Leaving Whitehorse, I realized there was a dark cloud gathering above me, both literally and psychologically. Though Alaska was stunningly beautiful and fulfilling in every sense of the word, the vastness and scale of this endeavor was leaving me to feel isolated, lonely, and to be honest, overwhelmed by the weeks and miles that lie ahead. Seattle was still more than a thousand miles away. Through a thousand miles of remote wilderness and the doldrum of the Alaska Highway, the postcard highlights of Alaska were behind me, and ahead lie nearly two weeks of a single road slicing its way through the dense green Canadian Yukon. I talk often about the importance and the beauty of listening to your body during endurance activities. Acknowledging these signals lets you know what you need to eat, when you need to rest, and when you can go that extra mile. But here, I came to learn that emotional and mental signals are equally as important. And for one of the first times in my life, I was learning to listen to both. A long list of pros and cons was written, and I decided to reroute my course and bike from Canada back into Alaska. I would make my way south down the Klondike Highway towards Skagway, where I'd board a ferry headed for Bellingham, Washington. Almost immediately, the dark clouds lifted and I found myself on one of the most beautiful roads I've ever experienced. As I passed an old silver mine and saw nothing but blue skies, encouragement from strangers on the side of the road let me know that life can be magical and like riding a bike, it's all about balance. I could hardly keep my eyes on the road for this two-day ride to Skagway, and I barely noticed the climb up to White Pass. But at the top of the pass, I met a tour guide who invited me to stay at the Sockeye Bike Shop for two nights while I waited for the next ferry. All of the pieces kept falling into place. When I made it to Skagway, I unpacked some of my things into the room and my new friends took me on a hike to the point to look for whales and enjoy an 11 p.m. sunset. I spent the next two days exploring Skagway, wandering up and down the streets, soaking in the parts of Alaska that I thought I'd never get to see on this trip. Skagway, Alaska is a beautiful little tourist town that swells with about 10,000 tourists every day as they disembark from the cruise ships. But at night, when the streets are quiet again, it's the perfect place to enjoy a few days off the road. Thank you again to Julian and the crew at Sakai Cycle Company for the hospitality. And then finally, after two days in Skagway and some much needed rest, I walked down to the docks to begin the next leg of my Alaskan adventure. If you'd like to dive deeper into this adventure, see more of my art and read the full story, go to drawnthere.com to order a copy of my book, The Art of Bikepacking.